There's a speed bump. This would be an interesting one. Before, when you did a speed bump, it felt like the... So I am on my way to get some parts installed on my truck today. Now, the place that I'm going is not the usual place that you've seen me at. Trucker's Equipment is generally the one who put accessories on my vehicle. I'm going to a different one today that specializes in suspension upgrades as well as off-road packages. And I've partnered with this specific shop because they've been known to do phenomenal work. Now, I was sent a product called Celastic Springs. And these are essentially replacement shackle hangers that have a rubber spring built into them. And the purpose of them is to dramatically reduce ride discomfort when unloaded in large pickup trucks, such as my own. I'm very interested in seeing how this product works. It's actually manufactured and sold in San Antonio, Texas, so it's not too far from me. And one of the challenges I have, especially as a YouTube producer, is while I create video from driving around and I'm hitting these heavy bumps, it affects how I can talk. But even more so, when I have my wife and children in the vehicle, especially in the back seat, you really feel the unsprung tension of the back of the vehicle. And it can become very, very frustrating for your passengers riding in one of these vehicles when they're unloaded. I've only seen one other video on YouTube about the Celastic Springs, and it was a gentleman who installed them on his Duramax. And, you know, he said that they worked pretty good for him but I wasn't really able to see how he drove around with it or any way of telling if it truly improved the ride. So that's what I'm gonna to try to accomplish for you today. The road that I'm riding on is actually a pretty nasty road and it's on the way to this specific shop. So it's actually gonna be a good test bed for seeing if there's any improvement in ride comfort. I'm pulling into Truckmasters right now. Truckmaster specializes in lifts and off-road accessories, whereas Trucker's Equipment is more for truck accessories. So, Trucker's Equipment does not do suspension lifts or modify suspension at all. That's why I'm here. So, hey guys, so I'm over here at Truckmasters now with the owner, Josh. How's it going, buddy? Good, how are you? I'm doing real good. And, you know, can you give my viewers just a quick overview of the type of work that you guys do here? Because I see some really, really nicely modified trucks here, above and beyond what you typically see at, you know, suspension shops. We do, from mild to wild, um, anything from leveling kits all the way up to full custom lifts. It just really depends on what the customer wants. Um, as you can see on, on something like this truck, uh, came into us already lifted, um, and we, he wanted to do an air ride kit in the rear. So we decided to do a four-link kit, get rid of the leaf springs, put a full airbag system, compressors, tanks, everything on it, um, fully adjustable. Uh, it's got about six to eight inches of adjustability in it up and down. Um, and it's gonna improve the, the ride on it. And this is a Kelderman kit, right? Correct, correct, it is a Kelderman kit. Wow, this is pretty uh, This is pretty advanced work. You don't see a lot of shops that are willing to go into this level of suspension modification. Kellerman's a great company. They, they, they have so much research and development into these kits that literally bolt right on. Um, it's, it's, it's not a bad install at all. Uh, to get to the point where we are right now, we have maybe two and a half hours worth of labor into it. Um, the hardest part, to tell you the truth about these, these air ride kits, is, is mounting the compressors and wiring and plumbing. All the other stuff is, is pretty straightforward. But when you know what you're doing, right? That's yes. what matters. Yeah, when, you, when you've done it a few times. Let's move on to the front because I noticed some a pretty high-end shocks that you had on this truck and nice reservoir system. It's, it's uh, The front of this kit has a BDS four-link kit on it. Um, and then we got rid of the cool spring and we went with a set of custom King shocks. Uh, the Kings on here are dual rake oilovers, so they have a, a smaller helper spring on top and then a, a bigger spring on bottom and what that is is for is it helps with the bigger bumps and the smaller bumps the, the, the smaller spring on top will compress and when it bottoms out the bigger spring will take over okay so it's it's, it's just kind of for for drivability for ride to, to keep that smooth ride um, but 
It's a good kit. It's, what's what's the overall lift on this particular truck? It when it came in, it was sitting at about about ten inches. Um, when I get done, we're going to take it down a little bit to about eight inches in the front, and then the rear will sit about eight to nine inches. And of course, it'll be adjustable for whatever the customer wants to do. Very cool. Good I appreciate it. Kit. Good looking kit, and of course, we had everything. We have anything powder coated the same color, so it, it all matches. He kind of likes that blue color, so it came out really nice. And hopefully, in the next day or so, this thing will be done and on the road. Well, good deal. Well, I know with the kit that we're putting on my truck, which is simply the Celastic Springs, um, you know, when we spoke, you knew about this product already. You were very oh, familiar with it. Very familiar with it, and I'm a very big, big advocate of it. Um, I've installed hundreds of sets of those in the time that I've been doing this, and it's the number one thing you can do to get a better ride out of a three-quarter ton or a one-ton truck. Mm -hmm. um, people don't believe me when I tell them, and then when I do it, they say it's a night and day difference. Um, the videos, you can see the videos on YouTube that Celastic has, they're kind of they're outdated, but it'll give you the general idea of how they work, and um, I mean, they, they work exactly how they stated, so... Well, I'm excited to see how they function on my truck. I appreciate it, Josh. No problem. Thank Thanks, you. sir. So, guys, here is the part that will be going on my truck, or the parts. These are the Celastic Springs. Right here is the area that replaces the shackle on the factory leaf spring hangers for the back of the truck. And this is the rubber compound that's inside of the steel-cased body of it. And this rubber compound essentially torques and twists when you, whenever you go over rough surfaces. So it essentially adds a spring or a cushion where this part would normally be rigid on the factory setup. So this part right here will squeeze and expand depending on how your shackle set up on your truck. Because my leaf springs are above the actual hanger, this is actually going to expand as you go over bumps. And it adds a level of cushion and control and ride handling characteristics that you just don't get with traditional leaf sprung springs. This really should be a factory included option or a factory option available on new trucks that are three quarter ton and up. So the first step is to lift the back of the truck up. So Josh, what are we doing right now? Uh, we are taking all the weight off of the leaf spring that we possibly can. Um, so we're going to jack it up, put some jacks underneath the, the receiver hitch, um, put all the weight of the frame on the jack stands, and then we'll take that jack that has a, we call it a pull jack, and we'll go underneath the leaf spring to lift the leaf spring up to take the weight off the shackle. That's funny. We should be good right there if you can get. So what the hell is that in your hand? This is the smallest half inch impact made. Um, this is a Cornwell, but Ingersoll Rand makes one as well. But it's just very, very shallow, but the braking strength on this thing, it can break any bolt that you have on this truck loose. It, it, is, it is a cool, cool little tool. And it's perfect because we have to get in between the fender and it fits perfect. I've heard that I'm shallow too. Uh, I'm taking you got a little bit of tension on it because that bolt popped right off. Yeah. So that is the shackle right there that's, that's actually the, being replaced. Yeah, that's the factory shackle. This is where it attaches to your leaf spring. This is where it attaches to the spring hanger on the frame. We're going to take this bolt out, get the weight off of this, pull this bolt off. Um, it's kind of hard because if you can, you can see the direction of that bolt right there, it's yeah. going to hit the frame. So it's a little finagling, but with the right tools, it comes off. I think that's the key right with a there. system like this. This isn't really a self-install system. No, you have to have a couple specialty tools. Give me a 24 ratcheting wrench, please. So guys, a big difference between the Ford Super Duty when it comes to installing these shackles versus the Chevy is on the Chevy, you may actually have to notch out part of the, the bed of your truck, the bottom portion, to clear the top bolt of your shackle to come out. Whereas on the Ford, it seems like they were able to jack it up high enough to get the bolt to clear not only the frame, but underneath the bed of the truck. Good, keep it coming, keep it coming, come on. That'd be all up under there, but there's not a lot of room anymore. <laughs> They're actually having a little party under there. Come on in, water's fine. Pull it out a little bit. So guys, that's what the Celastic Shackle looks like. They replace the factory shackle in there. So looking around at the different trucks that they work on here, they got quite an assortment. 
And then they have a really cool dually over there that they're working on. So this 2017 Super Duty will also be getting Celastic Springs installed on it. It's a good looking truck. So this is the vibration dampener, what I call alien debris. And they're removing it because it appears that it will make contact with the Celastic Spring. Hopefully it's not gonna be needed anymore. That basically transfers a slight chassis vibration from the frame to it to disperse it away from the frame. So hopefully when we remove it, I don't think we'll have a real need for it, especially with the new rubber bushings on the shackles because they essentially accomplish the same thing. And from what they're telling me, I used Thor's hammer to attach the thing, so it's taking a little bit of time to get out. <laughs> Wait, it wasn't supposed to be 180 foot pounds? Use every bit of it. So the key here is that you need to lift the differential up to lift the back of the truck up, put your jack stands under the bumper, and then as you lower the differential, it gives it takes weight off of the shackle so you can remove them. So both sides are now installed. How long do you think that took, guys? Maybe 45 minutes. about 45 minutes to do both sides. So this is definitely not a difficult job for a shop to do with the right equipment, such as truck masters. However, if you don't have all the gear necessary, and I guess more importantly, if you've never done it before, this could probably be a four or five hour job as another YouTuber you know, pointed out in one of the videos he did. So guys, we are going on our initial test drive after having the Celastics put in, and it's a pretty big improvement. It, you know, you still feel bumps, but they're not jarring. They don't change your voice. They don't rattle your, your vocal cords while you're driving. And it feels what I would consider, if I had to put a percentage to it, about 50% better. I'm about to turn onto a road called Alameda, and this road is the equivalent to driving on Mars. Josh, what do you think? Big improvement, major improvement. It really is, and it's subtle. You know what I mean? If you put this on a truck and the owner didn't know, you would just awkwardly wonder, did the roads get paved a little bit? You know, did they do a little bit of improvements to these streets? Because it, again, it, it really does help. I'm gonna mount a camera in the back here shortly so we can get a better perception of what the springs are actually doing. I hope I don't lose my camera in the process. And again, under some of these road conditions, you're not gonna change much because they're I mean, such they're big holes. Yeah. There's a speed bump, this will be an interesting one. Before when you did a speed bump, it felt like the, the rear of the truck goes all the way up and it just slams back down. Yeah, and that's the difference. You feel it go up, but when it comes down, it feels like it's cushioned or yeah. there's not that big divide. It's, uh, it's kind of hard to explain. That's a cool product, though. Well worth it for the price. Oh yeah. Where else, where else can you spend four hundred bucks and, and have something drastically change the ride like that? You know, and when you read the forums and you see folks who are looking at this product, that's the one thing that they say: Is it worth four hundred dollars? Is it an upgrade worth four hundred dollars? Or do you feel four hundred dollars worth of improvement? And right there, that, that bump is a perfect example. The front, you could really feel hitting that bump, and typically, the back would be even stiffer. But you really didn't feel it. It felt like the truck rolled through it really smooth. It, it's just a really different feeling, and I gotta tell you, I'm, I'm really impressed with these uh, with these shackles so far. Oh, yeah. They just get better, too. They're, they're still a little stiff that, you know, they break in, too. Mm -hmm. And it just gets a little bit smoother over time, so. Now, I don't know this, and I don't know if this is a question for them or if you know the answer, but is it wise to put a rubber conditioning on there? Will it dry out if you don't? What's the maintenance on them? I, there's zero maintenance on them. There's, I've never had to put any of it on there. Like I said, I've only had one fail. Um, I don't know what compound of rubber they use. I know, like, a tire, if you leave it out in the sun, it'll dry rot and start cracking, but this is out of the element. There's no UV going to be hitting it, so... I don't. I wouldn't think there would be very, very much maintenance to do. And all you could really do is just spray some lubricant on the outside. You wouldn't be able to penetrate the inside, you know. Yeah. And Josh makes a really good point that 
it should get better over time. A lot of folks that put these on, especially these HDD models, which are their heavy duty models, they drive them at, for one test drive. Here's a bump I'm gonna hit hard. That's another example. They drive them after initially putting them on and they give you their assessment of it right then. And then you never hear from them again. You never know what it's like after the rubber breaks in a little bit and it becomes a little bit more pliable. And I'm gonna be really interested to see you know, the performance, how they feel after that rubber gets a little bit softer over time. Because especially when it gets real hot outside and most people know rubber becomes a little bit more pliable and flexible when it's exposed to heat. And there's no better example of that than 11 a.m. and it being almost 90 degrees here in Texas. So once it hits 110 degrees outside, you'll really be able to get a good idea of, of how they feel. So I'm gonna be, of course, using these as long as I can. I'm gonna do more reviews. And one of the benefits of doing driving reviews is that you know I can constantly give you updated feedback on how these things feel. But yeah, the total install time took roughly 45 minutes. Um, you know, it's just not a difficult product to install if you have the equipment. And I wouldn't recommend doing this in your driveway, mainly because it's gonna require some equipment. It's gonna require know-how. If you didn't know how to do this, if this was the first time you had done this install, it would probably take you several hours. Damn. Yeah, it really is hard to describe how well it tames the harshness of the suspension in one of these trucks. Definitely recommend it. And you're able to actually uh, source Celastic shocks, right? Yes. So would you be able to ship them anywhere if people wanted them? Absolutely. That's a good deal. So I'm going to work with Josh, see if we can come up with some type of a promo maybe, if you guys are interested. I know a lot of people on my channel have dualies. I know a lot of people have recently purchased dualies um, based on some of the reviews that I've done. So I'm going to work with Josh, see if we can come out with some type of a promo where we can get some of these out to you if you guys want them at a discount or if you guys want to put these on your truck. Again, though, if you have them shipped out to you, you really need to take them to a reputable shop to get them installed. If you're in the South Texas area, highly recommend that you take them to Truck Masters since these guys put them on all the time. Uh, Josh just made a really good point. This is this is on a, on a ton and a half, an F450. Um, and it, it, it made that drastic of an improvement. Now, if you were to do this on, say, an F-250, a three-quarter ton truck, it's just gonna magnify how much smoother it is. Um, the suspension as it is is already softer than an F-450, uh, especially if you're going with a three-quarter ton. Uh, it does not have an overload. It doesn't have as many leaves in the pack, so it's gonna be a lot smoother as, as it is. And then coupled with a set of Celastics on there, I mean, it's gonna be the best possible ride you can put on one. Yeah, I completely agree, and this is a good testimony to, you know, how well this works, and I'm really happy, and I believe this dually right here is getting them put on, right? Absolutely. So, yeah, this uh, King Ranch F350 2017 model is also getting them put on. They just released it within the last month. They just released the 17 um, Celastic shackles. They had to do a little bit of modifications because of the, the location of the bolts, um, but they are available, and they are shipping, so. That's awesome. Like I said... I'm going to be working with Josh here at Truck Masters to see if we can come up with some type of a promotion in case you guys are interested in putting these on your truck. If so, hang tight and we'll probably do that in another video. But if you like this video, I'd really appreciate it if you give me a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. Thanks everyone.